Well, today I'm going to go ahead and do a review on my new TV I got. It's uh, e it's the E-Series of Samsung, as you can see. I won't waste on my time telling you every little detail right now. As you can see, I opened the box. I'm going to go ahead and set everything up. Alright, we are now looking at what I'm going to mount my TV to. It's from a company called Mount It. The bracket can be can hold a TV size from 35 to 70 inch, and it can hold up to 175 pounds, and can extend up to 24.5. As you can see, I do have it somewhat um, extended, but this also it has a tilt feature. I have mine tilted all the way forward, but see as you can see. So I have my tilt all the way forward because the uh, the light that comes in through my window, it puts a glare on TV and by doing that, it takes that glare away. So anyways, back to the mount. As you can see, it has six bolts. So three on this side, three on that side. It also has a level built in. So you don't have to fumble with a level while you're trying to put it on the wall. You can actually just mark it, look at that, then mark where you need it to be. Um, I've actually put it up by myself. It's very sturdy, very sturdy. And you can also see how it mounts to the back of the TV with these. You actually mount these onto the TV, then you lift the TV up and it hooks onto this. Oh, that's dirty. <laughs> it hooks up to this to this piece right here. Um, I really love this mount. My dad liked it so much. My dad actually he ordered one also. And so far, there's been no complaints. So there's the mount. Uh, it's it's definitely worth the money. Um, you can get it on Amazon for fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So it's not too bad. I I think when I first got mine, I paid like over a hundred dollars for it. So, anyways, as you can see, the TV's already mounted. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut to uh, the TV next. All right. Okay, now we're on to the TV, the, the one thing you came here to see. Alright, so the Samsung UN65KS8000. The screen measured diagonally is 64.5 inches. The resolution is 3840 by 2160 with the motion rate of 240. It also comes with Dolby Digital Plus, a premium sound 5.1 system. Uh, this TV also has four HDMI ports, three USB ports, one Ethernet, and one digital audio output optical. The UHD dimming optimizes color, contrast, and image detail by processing the image characteristics prior to being displayed on the screen. The quick app download to your phone can quickly link your TV and your phone together and you can switch you can uh, exchange information between the, the two devices the TV remasters your non SUHD with its intelligent picture engine it analyzes the brightness of the video source and remasters it for optical contrast the features are the HD R1000 the quantum dot color, of course, the motion rate of 240, peak illuminator, UHD dimming, and smart TV streaming. It also comes with one connect box. Now, that's one thing, that was another thing that sold me on this. Um, beforehand, I actually had a Samsung 6300, um, and I'll give you the price to that too, just in case you want to buy it somewhere down the road. So basically what it is, is I have the PlayStation 4 VR and you can't run 4K through the box of the VR. You actually have to disconnect it and then connect it to the back of the TV again. Uh, well, that kind of becomes a pain after a while. So I end up buying this device right here. Wide as well. So basically you connect this part to the back and then you have your three HDMI's right there. Your eight th uh, HDMI 
ports. And this also runs 4K too. Here, let me get a little closer. Is that better? Okay, and then there's there's a selector button. You just push that and it switches, it cycles through whatever port you want to use. Um, when I found out about this TV, the the One Connect box actually, it basically does the same thing. All the ports that I read off to you are on that one box. Okay. So, basically, here, let me show you real quick. Let's, uh, let's, oh, no, we gotta go the other way. There we go. All right, don't, yeah, I know, I need to fix my wires. Okay, so there's the box right there. Right? As you can see, I got... You know, I got all my stuff connected to it, and and you you really don't have to worry about it again. I mean, it, it's just that simple. You don't you connect all your stuff on there. Um, the TV will actually, whenever you turn on a device, it'll actually switch to that. You don't have to actually do, use the source. So, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this TV. Um, sorry about that. I kind of got ahead of myself with that. Um, it looks really good. Um, I kind of wish it was at night time. So you can actually see how well the light glows. I guess you can do from the sun. Here, let me get a closer look here. Oh, a little blurry. Okay, so, sorry about the video. But you can kind of see how it is. Okay, so anyways. Um, I'll probably, I'll probably add on... Uh, let me put this back down here. It's all over the place. Uh, eh. There we go. Just like that. Okay. So, anyways, now I watched I watched uh, other other YouTubers, and it was kind of weird because they were they were matching this the Samsung. Um, KS8000 to the LG E6P which kind of I don't understand it was kind of like it was kind of pointless um, you know because the the, the LG is going to look good it, it, it's going to look better it, and I saw them side by side before in real life and it looks a little bit better I'm, I'm not going to lie to you I'm not going to say oh it's it's amazing it blew my mind it looked a little better. It really did. Um, but you got you got to understand the price point between them. Uh, the the six the Samsung I got off of Costco website for one thousand four hundred and seventy nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So you know one thousand four hundred and eighty dollars. Okay, the LG. And this is this. I was actually looking for the best price for it too, but the LG is going for four thousand two hundred and ninety-seven. That is a lot of money for a TV. And if you're a gamer like me, I'm sure you're gonna like find money. You're gonna want to spend your money in different areas of electronics, not just one. And. You know, for it looking a little bit better than the Samsung, I I don't think it's worth the extra three thousand dollars for it. it, it it's 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 kind of out there. It's it's quite a bit of money. Um, I mean, even a rich person one would be smart enough not to spend that much money on a TV. Uh, so, anyways, as I was pointing out before, um, I had the uh, UN sixty five KU sixty three hundred. Samsung before and that one actually you can get for $1,247 on um, Amazon as of now but of course you know anything if you know if you go down on screen size it's, it's going to be way cheaper so it's, it's pretty much up to everybody on how they feel about you know spending money on certain things uh, for me I think the 14 well the 1480 for the SK, for the Samsung KS8000, I thought that was a, a wonderful deal. So I went ahead and jumped on it. And I have a 65 inch in a really small room, so go figure. 
Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it here and wait till it gets dark and then film it when it's dark. Um, so you can actually see the difference. All right. Now I'm back. Now you can see it's nighttime on this. And you can just see how, how this looks. Like, look at that. Well, it's not really nighttime. It's almost nighttime and it's, but as you can see, it still stands out though. I mean, the fire. It just looks so good. Um, I'll try to get, uh, let's, um, let's see. Let's back back out. And I'll get up here closer to to it, and you can see for yourself. And I'm, I realize that my <laughs> my camera is not doing this justice, but uh, you know, I have what I have, and. This is the best I can do as of Seven. now. Well, it's going wide. But then again, I <laughs> I really don't think I'm gonna be investing in mics and expensive camera like the rest of the YouTubers because I'm not planning to make a a living out of this. This was just a buddy asked me to, you know, I was telling him I was getting a new TV, and he told me just to do a review on it or uh, unboxing, I should say. And uh, so that's that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I know I did one of the Samsung uh, S8 Plus also. Who knows? Maybe I'll do more. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and stop here and switch it back to... Uh, I, I really do want you to see how good the color is on Legend of Zelda. So let's go ahead and do that. So, yeah, look at, see how white that is? Um, I don't know if you guys are going to see how white, it's, the white is so nice on there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and figure out how I teleport, because I haven't played this for about a week. Um, yeah, that's where I want to be. Okay, now just watch it. See how good that looks? It just looks amazing. Um, it just makes that color pop. It's just so bright. Um, on the 6300, it looked pretty good too. I mean, I was pretty impressed. And then, you know, I did on I ran it on this and I was even more impressed. But it, it still looked good. Yeah, it's don't need that. Don't need that either. I mean, it still looks good. The colors are just... I just love the colors. So there you have it. Okay, okay, just one more teleport. It's just one more. It, it looks it looks good. Let's see, where do we want to go? Let's go let's go here. Let's fast travel there. So <laughs> and see and I, I I, I can't begin to tell you how bright that white is. It's it's white. <laughs> it's not a creamy or yellow color. It's like white, white. 
Alrighty, so I guess I'll let you go. I don't want this video to get too out of hand here, but anyways, um, love the Switch. Love it. Looking forward to other stuff coming out on it. But anyways, that's time for another video. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you liked it.